Hi and welcome to Time for You. Um, it's a very cool, creative idea that came through us to create the space for you just to hang out, to calm down, to take some time and um, enjoy. I'm Lea Verntli and I'm in Zurich at the moment. And I just love to hang out and talk and have so be it, we call it, like talking about the most interesting thing in the world, our experience as human beings with my friend and colleague, Shelia Stevens. Hello together, I'm Shelia, mm -hmm. and I'm today in Frankfurt on Main or near there in Germany. So welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we said that we are going to talk about becoming an adult, to grow up. And actually, I, I don't think that I ever talked about it publicly, probably not. What I've seen um, is that over the last couple of years, I... I became an adult and it happens through the three principles and how and why <laughs> am I feeling or seeing that is actually it 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 really came to my awareness just a couple of days ago I, I did talk about it with my private client sometimes. Um, but I I listened to a, a addiction podcast, a German one. I, I love the guys, like two guys 40 in their 40s probably, but from this electro music scenes and they were... I think addicted to drugs and are talking about soberness, not three principles style, but they mentioned Bob. And I have a Bob too in my coaching, Uncle Bob. So the intrusive thoughts, the the thoughts that often come when my clients or myself before um, when I was overwhelmed or when I didn't, uh, when I wasn't able to cope with this intense emotions that I had, um, Bob was on his way. I think Nicola Bird called it Bob too. I'm oh gosh, sure. so many people do. Yeah. Great. Grace talks about yeah. Bob. Somebody started it and, and everyone... That, I know, Bob, <laughs> the drunk Bob, Bob, the drunk Bob, and my Bob is kind of a cool fellow with a biker jacket and a bike, and he's like, come on, let's have a drink, and ah, one doesn't matter, and it's often kind of nonchalant, ve um, what, what's the word in English, like very... Mm, charming is mine. There are different um, different feelings to this kind of voice, but mine goes still goes in that direction. So um, what happens through the principles, of course, I started to see where I am and I started to really paying attention to the signs, to my intuition, to um, wisdom in the moment, to the love letters. And I could um, follow them a lot earlier than ever before. Because what is the crucial things when we're not listening to our inner guidance and to intuition and to the emotions that tell us where we are, it builds up and it it gets in more intense. And often in the red space, when it's really wrapped up and, and agitated, we can't help and we 
still do whatever we do to soothe ourselves. Can be alcohol, eating, thinking too much, whatever it is in your case. So um often there in the in the red and in the storm there is not a lot we can do. Nowadays I very, very, very rarely end up there because actually I don't care how I feel. I'm able to feel whatever wants to be felt through me often or a lot of times and I'm paying in very close um i'm i'm looking closely to to these nuggets inside of me that guide me towards help so i feel better overall and i very rarely feel these intense emotions but i still do and what i mean with growing up was i st- started to see, oh, I learned to feel all the feelings. That's a thing to learn as an adult. Okay, I'm not there yet. I was in the teenage stage, probably. And that evolved. I'm able to feel more and intense and and all the emotions, not being afraid of them. That was one thing. The other thing is growing up to not losing myself in my drama space, Mm -hmm. being extremely aware of, oh, here is Bob inviting me into tantrum, drama, victimhood. Hmm. No, that's not where I want to go as a cool, responsible adult. I can feel that. These emotions are there. Even the invitation is there. And I'm able to choose. I'm not three. I'm not 12. I'm 46. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So, second thing. And then there were really real things in form. I was in so much drama for a lot of time because I did F up. I I had intense feelings. I did drink, for example. Then I did stupid things. And after that, I was in shame and guilt and had to talk with my husband and think about it for days. So I wasn't a responsible adult in a lot of areas. I was I was a good mother always. I was good at what I did in my job. But actually, for example, as a wife, mm, I don't know. I'm very glad that my husband loved the essence and something beneath, I don't know. I was not that good in relationship. So there was a lot to learn. Like, yeah, I'm not okay with what I did. Now I apologize or we find solutions or... um skills in communication, not uh, letting myself drive from shame and anger, for example. That was one part. Another, I was not that good with my money and the behavior around money. So still, I learn new skills, new very practical how to manage, how to um, be aware, um, how to build, how to invest. Yes, it's not always easy. And yes, I have to do it for myself. Um, 
and there are other things I just the two of them were the first that came to mind but um being willing to be a beginner in certain areas even though I'm a grown-up mother businesswoman um worker I'm also a beginner because I didn't know how I worked, because I got caught up in drama and addictive behavior, because I lost my shit. And now it's time to clean up, to, to be willing to learn, to be willing to be a beginner, to... And to be okay with all the insecure feelings that come along with that. And it's so cool and it's so interesting and it's so nice mm -hmm. to grow up. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's, that, that's a part we've seldom talked about. Yeah. I, I really love that, Leah, and um, me too. And I'll tell you in a minute, some, <laughs> maybe some areas where I'm starting to grow up with 49. But what what I want to emphasize is what I or what I'm hearing in that. Mm -hmm. You tell me, you tell me if it resonates yeah. with you. You know, I think it was George Pransky who I heard the first time talk about how mind helps us right where we are now and I think one of the analogies was you know the human body mm -hmm. um I'm going to use my mm -hmm. yeah my words for it but um it's like when we go out because it's winter right now mm -hmm. yeah this morning it was zero degrees uh celsius it's getting cold it could be colder and you know, it's like when we would go outside and take an hour long walk in the woods with not enough clothing, winter clothing, insulating clothing on. And if our body would start to sink in temperature, what our body would automatically do from the deeper intelligence is it would put all of the heat in the most critical areas, right? It would, it would be sure that our heart is warm, that our brain is warm, like our inner organs, and in those moments, the extremities would go cold, right? That's why we get maybe when we're underdressed and cold, cold hands and cold feet and cold legs and cold arms. And so when we're warm again, when we come back inside and we, we heat back up, then all that heat is redistributed to, to mm. all of, all of the body mm -hmm. and to me, that's what I hear when you, when you were talking, it's like, when we don't know how we work, when we innocently feel so much emotion and we don't understand where it's coming from, we don't notice where we are on the inside. Mind is just helping us, helping us, helping us to deal with that right now. It's like making sure the heart mm -hmm. and the brain is warm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love that. Mm -hmm. Right? And in the meantime, the extremities are going to be going a bit cold. The relationship learning, the money learning is just going to not be getting heat right now. It's not getting the blood flow. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. I mean, as long as you don't get frostbite, <laughs> take your gloves and your... I was near <laughs> frost. Yeah, sometimes we do take it pretty far. We get mm. pretty far. But, and I hear you say, like, the minute that that understanding was there, the minute you started to say, oh, okay, I, I can feel these things. I don't have to do anything about that. I don't have to drink. I don't have to eat. I don't have to shop. I can be with that emotion. And the more I see it for what it is, the less intense it gets. And then you're coming back to mm. sanity and health and <laughs> things are stabilizing. And then the blood flows back into the arms and legs. And I kind of see you like, whoa, my hands. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And it hurts at the beginning. Yes, oh. yes it does. Yes. 
your hands hurt like hell when yeah. you when when the blood starts yeah. to flow back in. And yeah. it did hurt a little. It was yeah. like, whoa, I, oh, I was not responsible. I did F up. Whoa. Okay. Ow. And now I see. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. And then there you go. Mind, mm. mind is coming in and saying, okay, all right. Now let's look at that relationship. What are some insights you need for that? Right? Like, okay, let's look at that money. What are some insights that would be mm-hmm. helpful around that? Like, mm-hmm. And then things start to show up mm. and things start to get nourished in those areas. And we start to see and learn, right? Mm-hmm. So that's what I heard. That was so beautiful. And me too. Mm. Like what I've noticed the, the last, you know, gosh, it's, it's, it's an, a lesson opening up the last year or two years, but really seeing it the last week, there's a, a lot of drama that I create. Mm. A lot of drama that I create is still something is fun for me in the bad things are happening on the outside. And um, um, it creates attention or something when, when I talk about it or poor me. Um, mm. uh, I can't even put it into words mm-hmm. right now, but this week I was, um, I was all alone and my husband was in uh, Nuremberg and he was going with his father to the oncologist and the urologist and getting his chemo plan put into place. And I knew I couldn't call him. He's like got so much more on his plate. Mm. And I was here with the dog at the hospital clinic. We talked about Mm. it in the last episode. And I was like, okay, I'm here now all by myself. Mm. I'm the caregiver. I'm the protector. I'm the one. Like, Mm -hmm. I'm feeling like I need to exude this drama onto everybody else. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't handle this. This is too hard. And I'm like, no, this feels very hard. This feels very painful. I was like, had all the intense emotion. And I was just like, growing up, Mm. being like, I can do this. I can mm-hmm. do hard things. Mm-hmm. I can do this by myself. Mm-hmm. I have a connection to the entire wisdom mm-hmm. of all of the universe yes. within me. I can go inside. I can get answers from within. Mm-hmm. I can take steps moment to moment mm-hmm. from within. Mm-hmm. I've got this. Yeah. And there's something about that child in me wanting Mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. And the growing up was, yeah, I don't need to do all that drama. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. And and do you remember the metaphor we sometimes had when it starts to shift and the the real life is getting more attention and and is juicier and you just want to be there. Yeah. And not in this strange made up drama party bob thing in your head anymore yeah and and then there is this pull toward it that is stronger and stronger and stronger yeah and it's we had a fun (laughs) a a client of or a student of us i think she had this metaphor we had it once in a in a coaching like donuts or or this rich dark bread with avocado on it. Mm-hmm. So this child in us, so drama or Bob thing is like, Donna, take me, look here, that sugar flash, you want it. And the bread with the avocado 
doesn't taste that good at the beginning. That's true. Because we're not used to real life. Yeah. And then it starts to unfold. And you you feel I'm the one here. I'm able. I'm I'm able to stand strong in the storm. That's who I want to be. That's who I am. Yeah. That's who we all are. This light in form, this mm -hmm. creative, huge potential God through us. And then we learn, we grow into that beautiful human being that is always human being and more than human being. Mm. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, yeah, that's so true, Leah. And I just have this um, this feeling right now, like one I want to say, and take this with a grain of salt, um, mm. because it's true and it's not true. Because the world, the world is fine without us intervening, yeah. and that's what the world needs right now. Mm -hmm. Is some more human beings who can just feel what they feel and stand solid in their own and yeah, adult yeah. in the world. And and you know what's the cool thing? It's it's a lot easier than probably even you out there think right now. Mm -hmm. The only the only the only thing we have to do is the next tiny step towards bread with avocado. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's that's it. That's it. That's it. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Leah, for the topic. It feels round for me, like we've come yeah. to a good space. So, okay, everyone listening, thank you for being <laughs> with us today. Wow, on this beautiful journey. We hope you had um, fun and insightful time with us, taking time for yourself to nurture presence and love and well-being. And um, like and subscribe to the podcast mm. and recommend it to anyone you know who might could need this such important transformative conversation I want to bring everybody along for the ride because mm. it's so good so mm -hmm. juicy so avocado and, <laughs> and dark bread <laughs> and um, we'll see you on the next episodes till then bye